think I could have been any clearer the last time I turned him down. Ray, your mother insulted my steak pozzola again. Neil Goldman of Quahog, Rhode Island. Leave me alone! I hate you! I hate you! Anyway, your mother insulted- I don't care anymore, Patty. After nine seasons, I just don't care. Maybe you could try not being a bitch. I don't understand why I have to babysit Stewie. I mean, what's he really gonna do if we leave him by himself? And now to test my teleportation pods. <gasps> oh, damn! I'm a monster! Never gonna be remembered for anything. Not like my great-great-uncles, the Siamese twins who fought each other in the Civil War. I'm seceding, like hell you were! Not too smart, huh? Yeah, did not think that one through. Hey, can I say hi to a friend of mine? Uh, sure. Hi, Jesus! No way! Hello? I know, I saw! Come on, buddy, you owe me, eh? Y you remember what I did for you last week? Sighing softly to the river comes the loving breeze Setting nature all a quiver rustling through the trees Through the trees! <sighs> all right, I'll go. Come on, Lois, he doesn't have the wild streak you had when you were younger. For God's sake, you used to make plaster molds of celebrity body parts. Okay, Daryl, it's almost dry. <laughs> Very nice, by the way. This one's going on the shelf right next to Dan Fogelberg. Hey, Lois, am I up next? Just wait in your dressing room. I'll come back for you, Oats. I'm not coming back for Oats. I got the idea from when Brian had to wear that cone after his operation. Okay, okay, if I make this, we're all gonna get laid. Ha-ha! Yes! Score! Score! Boy, I'd really like to chew on my crotch right now. Oh, Peter, we've tried every theme we could think of, and everything's failed, especially that uh, Coyote Ugly theme. I'm not going to avoid Peter like the drunk chick at a party. I just smoked the wrong side! Ah, jeez, that's more of a rip-off than that breakfast machine I bought. Shoot you! It doesn't make breakfast at all! Ah! Boy, I haven't been this creeped out since I saw that episode of Star Trek. Number one. Yes, Captain. Let me ask you something. If I whispered in your ear that Commander Worf's head looks like a fanny, would you join me in a laugh? Yeah, I could get in on that. All right. Here it comes. Commander Wolf's head looks like a fanny. <laughs> <laughs> you can both suck my ridges. Oh, get a sense of humor, Rocky Dennis. Wow, that sounds even better than when I got paid to take part in that study. Hmm, the only one who couldn't finish the puzzle is the fat one. I'm sorry, I can't see what you're going for here. What, uh, let me look at... Oh, it's a jar of preserves. Oh, yeah, I guess that's what all the red pieces were, huh? And Meg even went on a date with the announcer from the Super Friends. Meanwhile, under Meg Griffin's bra... <laughs> Don't be so sure, Brian. I've slept with chicks all over the world. Who knows? I could have kids in their 20s. ¿Dónde demonios estabas? Es más de la una y media de la mañana. Eso no significa que no Giggity puede vivir. Maldita sea, Giggity. A veces me pones furiosa. No puedo hablar contigo, Giggity, cuando te pones así. Me voy a ver los toros, Giggity, Giggity, Giggity. My God, nobody can be this stupid. Not, not, not even Peter when he took that blow to the head and thought he was Larry from Three's Company. Jack, there's a hot tub party across the street and we're invited. Oh, and don't worry, if uh, Mr. Furley comes by, I'll make sure he thinks you're... <laughs> How did you get on the show? Uh, I had to do a few favors. Oh, I gotta get on that show. Come on, I'll do anything. Anything? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, check under the bed. Nope, nothing. Check in the closet. 
Nope, no monsters in here. Now check the bathroom. Nope, none in here either. Okay, good. So can I be on the bachelorette? Yeah, good night. I tell you, this is worse than when they took away my library card for reading while intoxicated. Oh, don't be ashamed of your hand, Johnny Tremaine. You still live in exciting times. Oh, crap. Sir, do you know how loud you were reading? The life of a silversmith's apprentice was not an easy one. <laughs> Brian on a date, hmm? That'll be more pathetic than that game of Marco Polo I played with Helen Keller. Marco. 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 Damn! I'm terrible at meeting new people, like the time I was on blind date. I'm having a great time, Stewie. Me too. So, uh, you ready to go grab some za? Uh, yeah. So, a wild guess here, but from the looks of your arm hair, I'm guessing you're Italian? You're a hero. No, Lou Gehrig was a hero. Excellent. As soon as I release this biological toxin into the world's water supply, I will rule the world. I'll call it Lou Gehrig's disease. I just have to remember to make sure this cap is screwed on tight. Well, I guess the joke's on me. This ought to be more interesting than that time I met Ted Danson. Wow, Ted Danson and Mary Steenburgen. Hey, always nice to meet a fan. Oh, shoot. I forgot my umbrella. That's okay, honey. Come on over here. Thanks, dear. Sometimes it's good to be a freak. Hey, do you want to sleep together later? Oh, no. No, no. Thanks, though. Finally, I'm one of those guys who can't wait to get to work in the morning. Like a dairy cow. Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh! This is turning out worse than Stewie's iPod commercial. He gave me DVDs. The production values were amazing. Much better than Kramer vs. Predator. You want him back? You can't just disappear for three months and then suddenly decide you want him back. You can't have him. Murder? Well, this is a bigger surprise than that time Peter vanished into thin air. Hey, Stewie, peek a -boo. Yes, I see you, fat man. <gasps> Where's Daddy? What? Where did you go? Oh, this is impossible. Well, I, I can hear you, but I can't see... Well, he must really be gone. peek a -boo. Ah! How the hell did you do that? Look, I thought you disappeared, otherwise I wouldn't have picked my... Oh, great, leave when I'm right in the middle of a sentence. Oh, God, I'm screwed. This is worse than that time I had to fess up to the nation. My fellow Americans, I have not been entirely truthful with you. I did gagoogity that girl. I geschmoigadied her geflavity with my googus. And I am sorry. I feel awful. Why don't you come on over and we can try to get things back to the way they used to be? Remember how it was? Perhaps here there are many unsuspecting foxes to have sex with us. That is why we wear a tight pants to show our bulges. We are two, two wild and, and crazy, crazy guys. guys. You guys look stupid. Oh my god, he's gone. Ooh, that means this room is mine now. Oh, I'm gonna party my ass off in here. Great pot, Stewie. Yeah, I got it from our cleaning lady's boyfriend. It's okay, though, because she's gonna use the money to get a mammogram. I just bought us some new sheets at Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh boy, I hope you stayed away from that Beyond section. <laughs> oh, here are the coffee mugs. I hope I don't make any social faux pas like I did at Pamela and Tommy Lee's dinner party. Hi, sorry I'm late. I was visiting my aunt in the hospital. She has hepatitis. Ooh, sorry. Oh, wow, I feel like an explorer. Just like my ancestor, Ponce de Leon Griffin. There it is, boys, the fountain of youth. Just like I told you. Well, that was worth the eight-year boat ride. Wow, no Griffin's been this powerful since my ancestor, King Arthur Griffin. Oh, Arthur, if you are able to draw the sword from the stone and prove to me you truly are the sole king of Camelot, I will make love to you right here in the clearing. What if I could just move it an inch? Will you touch me? Your second, Lois. That's what we need. 
We'll go on a second honeymoon. <gasps> Peter, that's a wonderful idea. Yeah, we'll be just like the honeymooners. One of these days, Alice. One of these days. Yeah, yeah, I know, Ralph. Right to the moon. <laughs> I almost got an ulcer after you shelled out 200 bucks for tickets to cross and over with John Edward. I'm sensing an A. Does your name begin with an A? No. A B? No. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. P! Peter! My name's Peter! Is your name Peter? Wow, you are some kind of sorcerer. This is worse than that Winona Ryder thing. Uh, are you saying I'm a klepto? Well, actually, I was talking about the age of innocence. It is settled, May. Our parents have consented, and you and I are to be married on the first warm, sunny day of spring. That would be most good, Newland. Most good. <sighs> I'm sorry, but she, she is just awful. Is there any way... I mean, can we add, like, a topless scene or something? Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. We can? Oh, great. All right, we got a movie. Okay, now don't wander too far, kids. You know, more children get kidnapped at the grocery store than anywhere else. Hey! Ah, you got me! Oh, not quick enough. Not quick enough, no. no I was close, though. <laughs> you were close. Believe me, Peter does stupid things all the time. That's why he got fired from that airline. Coffee for you, Captain Griffin? Thank you, stewardess. Um, hey... Where are we right now? Uh, on an airplane? No, this room. What is this room called? The flight deck? No. Control room? No. Cockpit? <laughs> oh, 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 God, I told you I'd get her to say it. Oh, 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 God. All right, go on, get out of here. Is she coming back? I don't know. <laughs> And the other night, I had to do, uh, well, you know, that thing that you usually do for me every Thursday night. Something good, something good. Oh, uh, you really dazzled that rep from the Cincinnati office last week. That is sensational. You really made me feel confident about those numbers. Listen, if you're ever looking for a change of scenery, we could sure use a fellow like you in Cincinnati. That was you in disguise. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Fine, it wasn't. Ha! It was! Oh, what a feeling. Oh, this is even better than that time I met Timer, the cheese guy. A hanker for a hunk of a slimer slice of junker. A hanker for a hunk of cheese. When you get up and go has got up and went. Howdy, partner. Uh, yeah, pardon me, sir. I live next door. Uh, it is 3.30 in the morning. I, I am very tired. Look, a wagon wheel! What the hell is your problem? I just smoked a whole bunch of crack! Yeah, I remember when I became a man. The operation was a success. What are you going to go by now? Peter. Oh, man, that's the best idea since they faked the moon landing. Okay, cut. Wow, Neil Armstrong! Hey, wait a minute. You're supposed to be on the moon. I just saw it on TV. Oh, there's a, uh, yeah, no, a tape delay and, uh, with all, uh, solar winds. <laughs> yes! Ah, oh, this is more exciting than that time I got to ride the washing machine. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I'll carve out a niche as the effeminate male friend of the popular girls. Okay, tonight's my OC party. I got a case of wine coolers so we can drink every time Ryan seethes. Cool, I'd love to come. Me too. How'd you get the wine coolers? No, oh, it's not. I just did some stuff for a guy in the parking lot. Does anyone have any scope? My God, I haven't been this exhilarated since Brian took me to see Les Miserables. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. There will be a slight change in the cast tonight. Oh, no. For this evening's performance, the role of Jean Valjean will be played by Kirk Cameron. Oh! Oh, unbelievable! Oh, my God! How lucky are we, huh? Hey, Stewie, what are you doing tonight? Oh, nothing. Just watching Kirk Cameron play Jean Valjean. Oh, my God! Curtain up! Oh, man. I haven't been this upset since I watched The Blob on television. Look out behind you, lady! It's the blob! I'll save you! Oh, man, I can't believe I'm sleeping with a model. I'm luckier than the state of Rhode Island.
Well, I can't decide what to call this place. We'll flip a coin. All right. Heads, Rhode Island. Tails, Kakapupu Peepeeshire. Wow. Imagine what a genius like me could do with all that money. All right, Cloris Leachman, I've bought you legally. Now juggle these beanbags. I don't know how to juggle. God help you, Cloris, juggle a beanbag! I hear you're ruining everyone's good time, like Peter did when he used to entertain terminally ill kids. Hi there, how y'all doing? All right, so I'm at the DMV the other day. Long lines, long lines at the DMV. But uh, you'll find out all about that when you get old. Oh, uh, uh, moving on. So uh, I finally tried Viagra and... Uh, ah! Oh, we got a joker in the audience there. You, uh, you got something you want to say there, uh, Mr. Heckler? Dying hurts. Tell me about it. So anyway, who hates flying? Meg, you, you remember when you found out your gynecologist never finished med school? All right, Meg, let's take a look at that vagina. Well, it's not often we get to meet celebrities. Yeah, except when I was Christina Aguilera's manager. Okay, uh, l l let me just go ahead and stop you right there. Y you sound terrible, all right? Y you're doing this thing, which is just, uh, you know, what, what the hell is that? I mean, hey, and, and you look like if I touched you, you'd be sticky, and frankly, you smell bad. You're pretty much offensive to all five senses. That's only four. Well, uh, actually, you know when you smell something and it gets stuck in there and you can sort of taste it? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm tasting you right now, and it tastes awful. Truly disgusting, like salty garbage. Yeah, I totally taste it. You really care about a man who used to try and pick up girls at the Miss USA pageant? Hey, how's it going? I'm Peter. You want to go out sometime? Maybe get a Saturday night free? Yeah, yeah, you know what the hell with you then? Yeah, go to hell. Go to hell. Hey, I'm Peter. And what do you say you and me go get a couple beers, yeah? Maybe we could... Oh, fine. You know what? You got mosquito bite boobs anyway. I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't need you. Hey, how are you? I'm Peter. I got a coupon for Sizzler with your name on it. You know, maybe the two of us get you... Ah, you know what? I don't care. You're a bitch. I can do that. I'm a smart guy. I once built that time machine out of a DeLorean. All right, past, here I come. <laughs> wow, everybody in 1955 was on fire. I never knew that. <laughs> that guest list is more exclusive than the Garden of Eden. So basically, you can eat from any tree you want except this one. Can we sit underneath it? You know, I would just not go near it at all. Well, well, why not uh, uh, Ronald Reagan? He was always fun, especially in his later years. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Tear it down. Reagan smash. Reagan smash. What's that? Oh, it's just Reagan. Just leave him alone. He'll tire himself out. Reagan sleepy. Like the time my agent dropped that bomb on me. No one in this town will hire you. Oh, yeah? Taxi! 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 Chris, I'm just as serious as I was when I saw Paul Reiser do stand-up. What's the deal with airline food? I mean, is this stuff bad or what? Oh, that's not nice. Those chefs work really hard. And what's with those Starbucks, huh? They're everywhere. Uh, a lot of people want coffee. That's supply and demand. It's the foundation of our entire economy, Paul. And who do I talk to about those long lines at the ATM? That's what I want to know. Uh, not me, Mr. Reiser. Someone who has time to fritter away, but not me.